At first I was just trying to vent to my friends and family. The initial reaction was uh, I was overwhelmed. Um, and then I immediately thought I need to use this platform for good. I was frustrated that I did everything I was supposed to do and I still didn't get help. Um, and you were upset about the fact that the police were part of the equation, right? Am I right about that? Yeah, it was completely unnecessary. They were very respectful, they were very helpful. They could tell that, they could also tell that this was unnecessary. Um, so I think that they thought the whole thing was silly as well. Um, the police being called, my main frustration was the fact that after the whole ordeal, after being escorted by the police, after everything, I walked away with nothing but a stack of papers and I was told verbatim that I need to advocate for myself. And I don't think we should be expecting people with mental health issues to be advocating for themselves. And who ended up telling you that? The people in the ER? The social worker in the ER. So I have an amazing support group. Uh, all the people on my Facebook are very close friends and family or internet friends, fellow moms that I've met online. And I knew that if I vented my frustrations to them and I was open and honest about these feelings and thoughts that I was having, that they would understand. And that's why I, I knew that if I wasn't gonna get help from the doctor, that I could get help from these people. The term PPD is often misused and that can be damaging. There's a spectrum of maternal mental health disorders. PPD is one of them. Uh, and what you hear sensationalized in the news is postpartum psychosis. And that's been so sensationalized that obstetricians and gynecologists sometimes don't know how to react when someone like me comes in with extremely common symptoms of postpartum OCD or postpartum depression. And so now that this attention is put on me, I want to shift the focus to, instead of outrage at what happened to me, outrage at the systems in place. Um, I don't want to demonize these doctors or demonize this practice. I want to instead uh, educate them so it doesn't happen to anybody else and so that they can continue to serve the community but with compassionate and proper care. And you, you, you wrote about some of the bills that are being presented yes. uh, in California's legislature. Mm -hmm. um, and what of those uh, uh, do you think would change your experience? Or tell me about your interest in, in advancing those policies. So one of the main purposes of the bills is that women will be able to approach almost anybody, any doctor, social worker, uh, even their pastor perhaps, and express to them the same feelings that I express to my doctor and they'll be given proper care. So it's a lot about outreach instead of specifically um, to mothers, like community outreach, it's going to be systematic change, institutionalized change. Instead of having these women advocate for themselves, we're going to advocate for them. Uh, and, and those just happened? To, were you aware of those? I was or, not. So how did that even come on, on your radar? Somebody said, said Mom you, 20 or 2020 Mom contacted me and said, you know, because I had edited the post to say, I'm not going to sue this office. Instead, let's crowdsource some ideas to make some real change. And 2020 mom contacted me and said, Jessica, we're doing it and we want you behind this. And so I, I read the bills, I read the executive summaries uh, and I got behind it and decided, let's do this, let's get it passed. Yeah. So I have not seen a doctor since then, no. I have not. So, but now help comes in all sorts of different forms. It's not necessarily medication, for many women it is, for a lot of people it's talk therapy. Um, and so I, I have been given help and this whole process has been extremely healing for me, having, uh, you know, sort of getting into the activist mindset and helping other people who would go through this and maybe have an even more negative outcome, you know? So I just want to fight for the people that don't have voices. I don't want to crowdsource my healthcare because not everybody has that option. Yeah.